Europe is not enough for Putin, Baltic states, Poland, Balkans are Russia's potential targets. The next targets of Russian aggression could be the Baltic states, Poland or the Balkans. Even Europe would not be enough of Vladimir Putin, said Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in his speech before visiting French National Assembly. Europe is once again being forcibly redrawn with claims that certain nations supposedly do not deserve independent existence. All of this is currently directed against Ukraine, but it is intended to be aimed at others tomorrow, the head of Ukraine declared. Zelensky outlined the possible sequence of Russia's next targets. In his opinion, this could include the Baltic states, Poland, the Balkans and beyond. This Russian regime does not recognize borders. Even Europe would not be enough for it. It has already destroyed Syria and is causing chaos in the Sahel, investing in terror and undermining life wherever it can reach wherever it does not meet resistance, said the president. Ukrainian authorities have repeatedly said that the Russian regime will not stop in Ukraine if it wins the war. According to Estonian intelligence, Russia is already preparing for a new war, which could happen within the next 10 years. A direct conflict with NATO is not ruled out either. Estonian intelligence officials note that Russia has managed to reconfigure the economy to a military orientation, so everything is more or less going to the plan again for Russia. According to Kaupo Rosin, Director General of the Estonian Foreign Intelligence Service, Russian military leaders have learned from the mistakes of the initial stages of the war and are adapting with uncharacteristic speed. It seems that the Russians are, in principle, turning into a learning organization in the military, he says. Rosin adds that Russians have always solved problems through mass participation. In his opinion, the Russian reforms are likely to lead to the creation of low-tech, Soviet-style army with great firepower and artillery. There is information about the withdrawal of the 1009th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the Russian Armed Forces from near Volchensk due to significant losses. It is reported that the regiment lost 90% of its personnel and also included Wagner soldiers who refused to storm Volchensk without the support of equipment. A video of a contract soldier from this regiment also appeared on the internet, who says that complete meat is happening in that direction and out of his company of 100 people, 12 remained alive. Russian soldiers fighting against the cross-border incursion are complaining that they are being slaughtered and entire regiments have been lost. They blame bad leadership, inadequate equipment, lack of artillery support and no reinforcements. Soldiers Sow, we are under constant shelling, officers, ordinary soldiers and above all the people who have families and all their relatives at home are being killed and heavy equipment and reinforcements are out of the question. Near Volchensk, the Ukrainian armed forces captured about 60 Russians. This was announced by the Speaker Operational and Strategic Group of Troops, Kortitsia Nazar Volishin. The event happened on Sunday, June 2nd, on the same day Volishin reported that Ukrainian units control most of the city, about 70%, and there are fierce battles in the city and in the surrounding area. The Ukrainian armed forces managed to stabilize the situation in the Kharkiv direction. And although the enemy is trying to find an opportunity to gain a foothold in Volchensk, up to 70% of the city is now controlled by Ukrainian defenders, he added. Also, according to him, the enemy is trying to support assault groups by maneuvering reserves. There is information about the movement of enemy units belonging to the 44th and 11th Army Corps, which the enemy is trying to attract to conduct combat operations. But the enemy does not yet have enough forces to attack. He added that the Ukrainian armed forces control the actions of the enemy and do not allow him to advance or gain a foothold in Volchensk. According to him, at the moment more than 70% of Volchensk is left under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. Street fighting continues, the Russians are trying to move in small groups to gain a foothold in the territory, but they are not successful. <laughs>